Let's talk about a scatter tool. If you click in the populate and you want to scatter something, an object on your landscape or other object, come to the place and scatter here. For example, you can scatter, you have to drop your object here to scatter. Click and drag it. For example, another object. And then you have to click on the scatter tool. It's turn off because you have to choose which object do you want to scatter. If you hold in control, you can uh, scatter both of them or one of them. Just select the scatter tool and then click automatically uh, create uh, objects on, in the whole scene. It's very huge and we don't like it. You can delete the scatter object from the scene. Let's scatter a more easier object here. Populate, scatter and a simple box. Click it, scatter tool, just one click. You can see we have scattered lots of cube on scene. From here, you can remove your scatter randomly. From here, you can erase. And you can simply erase your scatter. We have three. You can change the diameter here. If you click on it, you can. If your object has an properties, you can access to it. And from the scatter vegetation number one, you can delete it. Another nice scatter thing is you can scatter on other objects. For example, I want to scatter object on top of another object. For example, bushes can go to the populate and scatter drag and drop it select it here you can access the properties of that uh, object then scatter it and click on the object automatically detected that object and scatter it for you interesting select it and here you can change the size of your bushes directly from here. Interesting part of that is if you change the scatter, you can move it. And of course, you can change in the scale of that. It does not scale the object in it, just scale the base of them. Nice. Now you can automatically change the scatter. This is an scatter, it's powerful and interesting.